It started as a normal day for the Sarah Long Bridge. On the afternoon of January 14th, 2013, operators lifted the bridge to let a boat through. Then on its way back down, it got stuck. The span came off its tracks and damaged steel guides on both sides. It was stuck about a foot above the rest of the roadway. It took about a week to fix, and for that time, cars had to take I-95, and some boats were stuck in the river. That delay is nothing compared to what two astronauts on the International Space Station are dealing with. We now know that Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be extending their stay on the ISS for six months. Yeah, the Boeing spacecraft that took them up will come back next month, and a SpaceX ship will bring them home in February. And now that company is preparing for a milestone in private space flight. Here's Marissa Parra. SpaceX is suiting up for two key missions. The most critical, bringing home astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. The pair was only supposed to be on the International Space Station for about a week. They will now remain in space for nearly nine months. The Boeing Starliner spacecraft that brought them to space set to return home without them because of a number of technical issues, including helium leaks and issues with the craft's thrusters, vital for re-entry. Boeing writing in a statement, we continue to focus first and foremost on the safety of the crew and spacecraft. Welcome to our simulator. Back on Earth, the SpaceX Polaris Dawn team is on the eve of making history. Together, the private four-person crew will travel 870 miles above Earth, the highest humans have gone since the last moon mission over 50 years ago. You guys excited to get, get out of here? Coda and Savannah sat down with the Polaris Dawn crew back in May. You're going to be outside of the spacecraft walking around for a couple of hours. The background is training the astronauts across all of our Dragon missions, and now I have an opportunity with this crew to go and test out a brand new spacesuit and really expand the capabilities of Dragon. Sarah Gillis is one of the two who will perform the first ever commercial spacewalk, expected to last about two hours. An ambitious move that former shuttle commander Eileen Collins says comes with risks. When you go outside, you are exposing yourself to some small orbital debris, like little pieces of dust that go zinging around. But for Dragon Commander Jared Isaacman, that risk is worth the rewards. Being a fly on the wall to the, to the history that SpaceX is making is just as good as flying the mission itself. History indeed. That was Melissa Parra reporting. That launch, by the way, is set for less than 12 hours from now at 3.38 tomorrow morning.